Okay, um, so I want to cover, I guess, a few things that, that Philip's uh, uh, mentioned in his previous talk um, about the, the sort of scale of IoT and the complexity of the software. He's mentioned a lot of the hardware functionality going into software and how this complexity is driving uh, a, lot of, a lot more software dependencies, uh, um, a lot more issues with deployment of the software. And so I started thinking about a talk and, and uh, what kind of thing I could um, uh, talk at here at uh, the conference. And so I have a talk following this in this room. Uh, the title of it is uh, Speeding Up Development uh, with, uh, Yocto and Open Embed or, sorry, with Debian and Open Embedded on the 410C. Uh, it is not a marketing talk. It is not specifically about the 410C. Uh, it does highlight for people who are interested about the, uh, the Dragon Board 410C, um, for those who are interested. But it's mainly a talk about uh, Yocto, uh, about uh, Debian, about the differences in the communities. I can't tell you how many times I have tried to explain to people that when you build something for one system, it doesn't automatically work on the other system. Uh, there's uh, a lot of reasons to use one versus the other. There's, if you look at the Raspberry Pi and you look at the, uh, the single board computer ecosystem and how having Debian and, and you know, 20,000 packages you can bring in allows you to prototype so much easier. Uh, I certainly know in the machine learning group when you are trying to pull in CAFE or something like that and you have many dozens of dependencies, you do not want to do that in Yocto to start with because it will take you forever. Uh, there are ways to do this intelligently. And so the, the speeding up part of it is how do we do this intelligently? How do we think about um, which parts are appropriate? Can I even deploy with Debian? There's a lot of talk about Debian's um, place in the embedded ecosystem. And I think people are realizing a lot about uh, the code quality that's there, the support that's there, uh, and how, how can it be leveraged. So there's projects like uh, ISAR and another one I found out about Debbie um, in, the, in the civil infrastructure project. So I'm going to talk about all these things in the talk and try to paint the broader picture, give you lots of links. Uh, but um, uh, even in the speaker's lounge this morning, I actually heard a, a pretty heated talk about Debian versus uh, Yocto. So it, it is, I believe, a, a very pertinent issue. Um, what else did I want to cover? Yeah, the, the, uh, the other part, I guess, is about uh, cost and speed um, and development, open source versus leveraging the hardware. Uh, Philip had mentioned a lot of the things are moving from uh, hardware to software. But with these open frameworks, certainly machine learning, you want to take advantage of the hardware as well. And so uh, having a way to do this and then scale out into the IoT market where you have uh, upcoming patches and you have a way to, uh, to get those, um, those upstream fixes and you're not trying to maintain the entire platform yourself is important. And so leveraging an upstream uh, capable uh, platform which still gives you access to the hardware for acceleration is really important and really valuable. So that's, again, something else I'll cover. Um, that's all I have for today. Please join the talk if, uh, if you're interested after this. And I'll hand it back to Philip. Cool. Mark, thanks a lot. Right, thanks.